Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at Gems of War. This is the newest game from the uh, makers of Puzzle Quest Infinite Interactive. And uh, it is out now on PS4, Xbox One, Steam, and both uh, iOS and Android. It is a new puzzle uh, RPG game from those guys. And uh, I've been playing some of it and it's pretty cool. Um, I know this is the PS4 version, and if, uh, if you have PlayStation Plus, there's a special DLC bundle that's free. Gives you some extra gold and some other stuff that uh, helps you get going a little bit more. So, uh, so yeah, here we go. We got the hero here. Uh, you can do some character customization, male, female. None of this stuff affects anything. Uh, these are sort of special weapons that my hero has that we'll see in the battles. Uh, you also change the costume. These masteries, if you've played Puzzle Quest, is the same sort of thing. Uh, your attributes level up uh, automatically when you level up. Uh, but Mana Gems, you pick one, it gives you a choice of two. And with each rank that you go up, the chance of getting a Mana Surge and getting sort of double the mana from each of those, from those matches is uh, more likely. And sort of going into battle, you... Uh, pick troops to join your party so you can have up to four and uh so we'll go and hop in here okay we got some money uh let's hop into quest here and these quests are pretty simple uh so we're here trying to take out these ogre fortresses in uh in this particular area uh broken spire so, yeah, I've completed both of these uh, requirements, which is just two separate battles for each. The story so far is minimal, nothing really big. So we got some gold. Okay, now we're going to go back into the quest. So we need to burn this fortress. Okay. Set fire to the ogre fortress some peace. We'll give some peace to the restless spirits within. So we fight our way to the center. So now we're going to face some people. This is my crew. Um, and so the sort of free-to-play aspect of this game is in souls and uh, diamonds. I'll show you the diamonds a little bit later, but essentially I can uh Train these guys, I get souls for completing challenges. We'll try that out in a little bit. Uh, you can easily disenchant them, get some of those souls back. Um, yeah, this will level them up. They, your uh, minions do not level up with experience. So you essentially grind to get souls to level them up. And uh, the icons here, the green, red, and Yellow are sort of the icons that we'll see in the battle uh, as gems. So we'll hop in. So right there are six main gems. If you've played Puzzle Quest before, this is Puzzle Quest. So obviously, first off, you want to get these four. Uh, that'll give you an extra turn, and you get something to build up some of your attacks. So essentially I'm looking to build up greens, uh, get some yellows, and reds to fill up my attacks over here. Uh, you can also look at enemies attacks, sort of specials are once they fill them up. And sort of look at their stats. Um, so we'll take... So I can do try and do two here, but obviously that's not going to happen. So it would be best for me if I take one of these prevent them from being able to do an easy thing there though he's got an extra turn smarty's gonna do that one yep and there's another one right down there at the bottom nope didn't do that one though still got yeah I guess mana surge gives you an extra turn so 
Uh, the one cool thing I like is that uh, when you're filling up your mana, it'll spill over. So if I get a thing of three yellows, it'll fill up the top woman's uh, uh, spell meter. And then it'll spill down to the third guy who is also taking yellows. It's suggesting I do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take an attack. And uh, if you've played anything like Hearthstone or anything like that, uh, you'll probably be able to figure out some of these icons. So the swords are the attack. So if I use one of my... Or if I match some skulls, I'll do that much attack against the topmost enemy. Uh, the heart is obviously health. Armor is how much damage I can take before it starts, before they start hitting my health. So she's got one more uh, hit point she can take before her health hit points uh, start going down. This is a special attack here, so uh, no skulls. But yeah, we can finish off. We can finish off both of these. I don't know if I do that. Yeah, this is probably the best one here. And yeah, we got some nice music here. It's going along with the battle. So now, this one, uh, my goblin's special has been filled up. Deal four damage to an enemy and gain an extra turn. So four damage. So we'll take care of this guy's shield. Uh, let's see... This is gonna do the same thing. Give me some shield. Might as well fill up. Well, that gives him a four if he wants to take it. Yep. Now you can use one of these skulls. Okay, so her thing is ready. Deals five damage to a random enemy. It goes to the bottom. Nope. Oh well. Getting rid of that one enemy is worth it. Whoa. So she only does two attack and she's got a special ready to go. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to keep track of where are all these extra turns. Uh, I can get this extra turn. See how it filled up the second guys and then spilled down to the one on the bottom. Uh, let's see, no skulls are ready. I'm going to take this because it'll fill up two. Ah, uh, crap. So I lost her. It's no big deal. You got all four of these guys. It's essentially like four lives to work with. If I do that, that thing will fall. Yeah, I'm probably not going to try to do that. Uh, I still have this. Get a shot in on her. Then work on something else. I and mean, you can also do the same thing of like trying to deny the enemy gems that they could use to get their spells going. Ah, uh, what's here? What's here? Yeah, we need that. Okay, that's good. So the recommendation thing, it comes up a lot more quickly than it did in Puzzle Quest. That I, At least as far as I can remember. Um, okay, we got this. Boom. Big hit. Since the top guy is only 2 damage, it does not very much damage. So I guess the extra skull probably gives him a little bit more. I'll fill that up. Everybody has a special. I think I gotta check, make sure. So yeah, this one gives me an extra turn so I can get a second special in. It does 2 damage to all enemies. 
It's no big deal. There we go. Doesn't matter which one I would have picked. We won. Get some gold, some experience, and we're going to the next part. Defeat the forest, the fortress guardians, and start a fire. You get a little bit of voice acting. Um, and obviously you can move these guys around to determine who takes the next damage, but I feel like this is a pretty good setup for me. It's been working pretty well so far. Okay. So do we have any fours here? There we go. It does a pretty good job of helping you out. Though there are times where it just picks something and I know that's not the thing I want to do. So far it's being pretty good. Uh, let's see. What's going on around here? Skull time. So not too much health on these guys. Should not be a hard fight. So far none of these have been hard fights really. Maybe lost one or two party members at most. Fight. Uh, it's not till the challenge fights that is where it starts to get really tough. Yeah, these ones are looking for mostly purple. One black, one red, one blue. Uh, is that my only move? That would help me. I get the blue out of there too. Not much help for me. Also, if you get the L shape, it's... Which you saw earlier was a... Special. So this will kill two of them. Right away, depending on who it gets. Nope. Uh... Uh, do we have any fours? No, but I can take these skulls out. Which skull do I want? Okay. Took that guy out. Uh, what do we got here? Four damage. Take this one out. It just works really well. It's a pretty fun game. Um... I was playing this for an hour or two beforehand. Sort of thing you just keep going through. Um, it feels like some they got rid of some of the sort of I don't know, like the build up in the original puzzle quest of something that I was not a big fan of. It sort of felt like it did a lot to uh Make it feel like the AI was cheating because they knew exactly where, how drops are going to happen. So it feels less like that's going on here. You don't see very many sort of big uh, matches being made from constant drops. So we need yellow, we need green. Um, let's do this one. Then I'll get that green up there. That sets up a four right there. Yep. So far, my hero has enough uh, armor and health that she's really hard to kill without them just getting completely lucky or me making bad moves constantly. I think this one's a good one. Kim. Uh, let's take this one out. Okay. Take a purple out so that it can't use it. Serve the same purpose of 
not being useful for me. Okay, we got some. Okay, double there. Mana surge. He gets the next turn. Does not use the skulls. So I found that to be a weird thing. They don't use the skulls as often as they should. They've oftentimes skipped over that just to do something else. Which is a really weird thing. So I think that's partly the enemy sort of going easy on you. I don't know. Oh, almost everybody has a special... Use this one so I can get my... Get my extra turn and then have her finish him off. And there we go. 29 gold. Finish that off. So yeah, these big buttons are obviously mobile. So this was out on mobile first. It still works well. Yeah, and obviously since it's a mobile free-to-play game, you get more gold uh, for coming back consecutive days. So we get uh, we're adding to our daily reward. Okay, we leveled up. Got more health. Now I can pick one of these. Uh, go with the green. Deal 4 damage to an enemy. So now let you pick. So sort of this is like a thing you would scroll across with your fingers. Um, I've opted to go with this one because it's 5 damage more than any of these for the price as well. For it's 6 things. Um, and so over here you got tasks that you're supposed to do. Uh, use the invade button, get trophies, expand my collection of troops. Yeah, so let's take a look at, so the chest here is part of the microtransaction stuff. These ones you gotta pay for at the store. Yeah, I don't think they, they have these up here, but you can't buy gems yet. That might actually be on the store. PlayStation Store might be, just might not be hooked up here yet. I don't know, but yeah, so there's keys, there's gold. Uh, costumes, so there's some bonuses if you want those. Um, here are the souls for upgrading your people. Uh, bundles that are not showing up. And then there's these mysterious wings. I don't know where these come from. This is the first time I'm actually seeing this. So these are some special like uh, people for your party. And a special weapon. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a daily reward thing? I don't know. Uh, invade, we'll do that in a little bit. You can create a, gold, a guild for a thousand gold. Uh, and from my experience, if you set it to be open to everybody, uh, they can do whatever. And so, for guild, you have a special guild tasks. Uh, sort of special goals that everybody works together for. Uh, there's also PvP and stuff like that. Uh, league. They have like rankings. So you can see sort of how you are doing compared to everybody else. Uh, so let's get back into some more fights. Uh, so here's like the thing that tells you how much you're getting per day from this uh, home kingdom. You can also buy the others to unlock them. And get some bonus stuff. Uh, the challenges are an interesting thing. There's a bunch of these and I have so far unlocked them by just playing through the quests. So they start on the easiest difficulty and you keep playing through them five times to get through the hardest. So we're going to take on this. Now these guys have 10 hearts and 111. You have about 14 
each, and they each get hit for five or four. So pretty hard, just from the look of it. Uh, let's see, what else? They're going after blues. Mana surge. Okay. A couple good drops there. So now I'm going to take her. Take out an enemy. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Four skulls. Four of these. Another skull drop. Mana surge. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Go for the skulls. Still got that first guy. Ah, uh, what else? Okay. Here's our guy here on... I guess we'll do that. Try and get him down as much as possible. Okay, this will get our third guy filled up. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Uh, do we have anything else interesting going on? Now let's deal two damage to everybody. Knock them down a little bit. Uh, what do we want? Green would be nice, but this red will do. Uh, there's a four up there if you would have used it. I just broke it, so... Yeah, they're not the smartest AI, but I imagine as we go up on the difficulty, they will become more ruthless. So I'm guessing his on that bottom was take out a column. Get the benefits from that. Yeah, I guess I'll take out these skulls. Finish that guy off. Two left. What to do, what to do. If I do this, it'll set up a skull here, so... I just set up anyway. I'll get my gold here. that one. Just trying to think if that was going to drop in a certain way. But nope. Yeah, let's get damage on this one. Thank you. Oh, there's a four if he wants. Or takes that one. <laughs> okay. What do I want here? I guess I could go for fire. Set up a four there if you wanted it. And I got two fours I can do. Brainerella, that's the best kind of fours. 
Uh, what else is here? Nothing, just skulls. I'm gonna destroy him. They'll use our special here. Take him down a peg. Two here. want that. I can't really help it, can I? Nothing there. You just gotta take what you can get. Ah! Yeah, and if you run out of moves, it'll reset the whole board. Uh, like you would expect. So yeah, we lost our first person. Ah, uh, crap. Do you have anything here? Interest. Let's do two damage. And let's see. Take this one. Ran out of moves. Well, it doesn't tell you. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Uh. Yeah, I could use some greens. Uh. Okay, we got that. <laughs> probably do something. Yep. Got a little bit of extra gold before I finish him off. Boom. I completed my test, so I got some extra souls out of that. Gold. And this is the whole map, I imagine, once I get through with these and level up. Uh, I believe this one is at level 10. It'll start opening up more space for other things. As a, you can see that every section is neatly... Every part of the map is neatly sectioned off, so I imagine all of these are potential places for uh, things to do. I'm curious what this invade is. Tell me a match. Yeah, let's fight him. So now we're going to play against another person. It's not too bad. Uh, some gold here, gold and some greens. Um, okay. Set that up for him. Ah, uh, what I want. There's a four right there. Because that's an extra, another person. It's he's not going to take. Uh, take it easy on me and forget stuff. What the heck? Attack all of my chests. Uh, set that guy up. Dismissal later on. Um, I guess probably a pretty good one. Oh, I just gave him one there. Is that great. I do this. Okay. Yeah, 
past this. Mana sir. Red to fill up this guy down here. <laughs> 